to the Lord. How was your week? Good morning, Iconium. We welcome you to our call to worship this morning, amen? This first Sunday in September. It's a pleasure to see all of you today, amen? The summit says unto us, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing and know ye that the Lord, he is good. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. 
for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. church say amen. Amen. Amen again. Amen. Amen. We will now have our devotion by our deacons this morning. Amen. Followed by a congregational hymn. Revive us again. Amen. Amen. Good. Uh -huh. 
to the house of prayer. We come, Father God, with our soul and our heart filled with thanksgiving. We're so grateful, dear Lord, that you have allowed us another opportunity to come to the house of prayer. We know, dear Lord, that you love us because you sent your only begotten son down through 40 and two generations to bring us salvation, to bring us the good news of the Heavenly Father. And dear Lord, we know that you love them. Now, Father, we come today to express our love towards thee and to let you know that you're all we need, Heavenly Father. We know that you're able to keep us in all things, Heavenly Father. We know that you're able to guide our mind and our heart, Father God. So we ask you, dear Lord, that you will come among us today, Heavenly Father. We invite you to come among us today, Heavenly Father. Because God, there is no other one like you, Heavenly Father. There is no other one, Father, who is able to give us joy in our heart when the world is all going contrary to the Heavenly Father. Only you, dear Lord, can bring us to the land that you have promised us, Heavenly Father. And that land is everlasting in thee, Heavenly Father. You told us in your word, dear Lord, if we would just turn from our wicked ways and seek your faith, dear Lord, and pray, you will hear from heaven, Heavenly Father, and you will heal our land, dear Lord. Today, dear Lord, the land that we need to be healed, Father, is in our heart, Heavenly Father. The land that is in our heart needs to be healed, dear Lord. So we ask you, Father, heal the land in our heart, Father God. We're so grateful, dear Lord, for your love that comes from heart to heart and from breath to breath. And most of all, Heavenly Father, we thank you for thy holy word. Because we know thy word, Father, is the truth. We know that the word was in the beginning, was nothing but your word, Heavenly Father. And the word will with you, Heavenly Father. And the word is you, Father God. So teach us and guide us, dear Lord, that we will seek you through the word, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Not only he brings us and remembers us that word, Heavenly Father, but he is the one, dear Lord, that abides in us and lives in us, dear Lord. And we thank you for his presence in us, dear Lord. Because we just need you now more than we ever need you, Heavenly Father. We are living, dear Lord, in the trial of time, Heavenly Father. We are living, dear Lord, with this thing going on throughout this world that we know, dear Lord, is not right. But we still have to live in this world, Heavenly Father. So we ask you, dear Lord, you will keep our hearts, that we will not be off the world, Heavenly Father, but we will be about doing your will, Heavenly Father. Father God, we know that we're not alone because you have told us you will never leave us and never forsake us, Heavenly Father. And as we come here today, Heavenly Father, we come to hear from thee, Heavenly Father. We come to be reminded, dear Lord, about your mighty work, Heavenly Father. We come, dear Lord, for the fellowship, Heavenly Father. Because, dear Lord, when we forsake the fellowship, dear Lord, we also forsaken thee, Heavenly Father. Help us to realize that when we don't come to the Lord to fellowship with one another, there is no way we can grow together as one body and thee. Help us to realize that when we don't come in fellowship together, dear Lord, we cannot have that natural and genuine love that you have given to us for one another as well as for thee, Heavenly Father. Father, we come here today to ask you to have mercy on our soul. We thank you how you have blessed us. And help us to bless your most holy and righteous name wherever we go, dear Lord. Help us not to be ashamed of your gospel, because we know it is the good news for all mankind. And Father, we thank you how you have blessed our individual family. 
And we ask you, dear Lord, you to bless the man who will bring us the bread of life, Heavenly Father. Anoint our ears and our heart that we will be able to see the words, Heavenly Father. And then, Lord, we ask you to take, keep our family safe. But most of all, Heavenly Father, draw us near and near unto thee, Heavenly Father. And Father, whom we have come to end this life and we have prayed for the very last time, we ask you to remember each and every one of us, Heavenly Father. So we continue to praise thee in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. to let your light shine. came just as they were. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. You want him to shine on you this morning. Just give him a hand clap of praise. Come on, I remind you this morning that while two or three are gathered, touching and agreeing, that he will be in the midst. Amen. Oh, come on now. It don't take but a few faithful believers to call down glory from heaven. Amen. I'm so glad. I'm so glad this morning, church. Amen. Just to come out to the house of prayer one more time. We want to thank the deacons for their devotion this morning. We want to thank you for all your voices. Lending in and helping them this morning. Amen. 
good to see Sister Sappho here sister, this morning. Amen. Praise God. You. Yes. And I use the Sappho uh, name, but I'm going to get familiar with your name. Amen. Praise God. Good to have you. Praise God. Good to have Sister Tadika Smith with us again this morning. Praise God. Amen. Good to have all of you this morning. I want to thank God for this opportunity to welcome Alethea and Zaria. Amen. Just come in town to visit with us again. It's always good to see you and to have your presence in the house of the Lord here at Iconium. Of course, Lelangino Jr. and the grandmother, praise God. Minister, we always welcome you as well. Amen. God bless you. To all of you who are here today, we welcome you this morning into the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 We're now going to have this morning our congregation hymn. It's going to be taken from hymn number 18. Amen. And it's called Revive Us Again. Amen. 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 If you don't mind, please stand. have had a blessed week. The women of Iconium would like to thank all members and friends for their support on our Women's Day last Sunday. Without all of you, the celebration would not have been possible. Brother Angelo Wright's brother, Mr. Bobby Jones, will have his home going on S September 10th, 2022, and be interred at Washington Park Cemetery. Other information will be forthcoming. Let's all keep the Wright and Jones families in our prayers during the time, their time of bereavement. Please mark your calendars for a special church-wide meeting to be held on Saturday, September 10th, 2022 from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We will be voting for our new senior pastor. Hopefully all members have had a chance to hear the candidates. For those who are sick, homebound, or students, you may vote by email. The process for voting by email is one, request a ballot through your email address with a, excuse me, with a copy of a valid ID, such as your driver's license 
or student or state ID. Send the request to IBC Search Committee One at gmail.com. Ballots must be requested no later than 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, September 9th. And also for those students or any young people, you do have to be 21. Uh, ballots will be sent out to requesters no later than 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Friday, September 9th, 2022. The email, then email the filled out ballot back designating your choice no later than 12.55 p.m. on Saturday, September 10th. Note, all email ballots must have a time stamp prior to 1 o'clock p.m. to be considered valid. Otherwise, it will be voided and not counted in the final count. All other members, we look forward to seeing you on Saturday, September 10th, 2022. Continue to pray for all of our sick and shut in. Brother Angelo Wright, who is still recovering from surgery. Mother Elise Daniel. Sister Willie Mae Harvey, who's with us today. Sister Eunice Sappho. Brother Malin Jackson. Brother Julius Carnes, Brother Dominique Edmonds, Sister Lily Lanes, who's with us today, Brother Gary Vincent, Sister Mary Colbert, Brother Lorenzo Lindsay, Mrs. Evelyn Lindsay, Mrs. Mary Rousseau, who's the sister of Mother Maud Reed and Clarence Simpson, James Anthony Akins, nephew of Reverend Vincent, Mrs. Mrs. Edith Lindsay, mother of Reverend Lewis Lindsay and grandmother of Brother Mark Lindsay and all others whose name may not be listed. For those worshiping from home, tithes and offerings may be sent to Iconium Baptist Church, P.O. Box 11322, Atlanta, Georgia 30310. If you have any announcements, please provide them to the secretary no later than Wednesday at noon. The contact information is lowercase p o o l e five seven two at gmail dot com, or text to six seven eight three six two three nine five zero. Also, please text, and that should say September birthdays. Sunday school begins at nine a.m. and church services at ten a.m. Birthdays for the first week of September, Michelle Christophe, September 3rd, Willie Mae Harvey, September 5th, and Mother Elise Daniel and Deacon Jerome Duckin, September 7th. Iconium Baptist Church would like to extend a warm and Christian welcome to all of our visitors. Thank you for choosing to worship with us today, and we hope that you will return again soon. A reminder, please sanitize your hands, wear your mask, and socially distance. Thank you. We want to thank God for those announcements, and thank God for Sister Sandra Poole bringing those announcements to us. Amen? Amen. If there are any questions that you have, then please bring those questions to me and I'll carry them to our secretary and we'll get an answer for you, amen? Amen? amen. amen. Emails and driver's license and, or valid IDs, and those may be questions you may have, amen? And if you have those questions, please let me know, okay? Amen, amen, thank you. I have them, so. <laughs> You have them as well. You may have them as well. Amen? But we do want a full participation from all that we can have to uh, make everything go as smoothly as possible in the sight of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, this is a time today where everybody can participate. It's time for our tithes and offerings. Amen? So as the, earth, as the uh, deacons come this morning, other urses, let us prepare to... Uh, take of our regular tithes and offerings and let us give as God has blessed us. Amen. For the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen. The more that you give, 
the more he'll give back to you. Amen. You cannot beat God's giving, no matter how hard you try. We're going to continue with our worship service this morning. We're going to ask Reverend Lundgren Jr. if he would come and give us our scripture this morning. Amen. 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 Followed by a prayer. Reverend.
Good morning, Iconium. Our scripture reading will be coming from Ephesians, the second chapter, the 11 through the 22nd verses. Again, Ephesians, the second chapter, the 11 through the 22nd verses. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who have made both one, and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Yes, yes. Now therefore ye are now are no more strangers or foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner stone, in whom all the building fill, fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord. Verse 22, in whom you are also are builded together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Thanks be to God. Amen. As the choir leads us in our hymn of meditation, let us prepare our hearts and our minds to go to God's throne of grace together. There where we can allow mercy to plead our case. Amen. Mercy. Somebody say mercy to plead our case. Amen. Right now in the presence of a holy God. In the presence of an omniscient God, in the presence of an omnipotent God, sees and know all things, got all power in his hands. Let us prepare our hearts to go to his throne of grace, there where we can cry out mercy, mercy, mercy. In all days, the angels keep watching over me, my Lord. In all night, in all. Lord, you can accuse me, 
You can abuse me, you can drive me from the cold. The angels keep watching over me, my Lord. You can crucify this somebody. But you can't, you can't touch my soul. I know the angel keep watching over me, my Lord. Let us pray. Eternal and all-wise God, our Heavenly Father, Father who sit it high and father it's you that look low it's you that see and know at the hearts of all mankind you know our lying down you know our rising up you know our going outs and you know our coming in you know all about us father because you got all power in your hands. All power in heaven and all power in earth belongs to you. So there is nothing that you don't know, God. So we come, feel your faithful believers, just humbly bowing before your presence. Oh God, we Come just as we are. We're an empty vessel before a full fountain. And God, we're seeking just to be filled by thee. We need you, God. We need you. And we can't get along without you. We need you in our homes. We need you in our schools we need you on our jobs we need you in the white house and we need you in the courthouse we need you in this house and God we need you in our own houses in our hearts this morning God we need you and therefore we come Lord just to give thanks unto you for allowing us another opportunity to come out to this the house of prayer to be in your holy presence to be under your holy anointing to be filled with your holy power and God we thank you right now for everything that we have come from you God and we pause just to give you glory, give you honor, and to give you praise. We invite your presence in this place, God. We know that you are above all other gods, so we know that every little God, every darkness, every demon, everything must bow unto you, God. So we invite you in your holy presence, in your holy place. Come right now, God. Sup with us just for a little while. Oh, Lord, we ask you to search our hearts right now. Try us right now. Know our thoughts right now, God, for you know all about us. And if you find anything in us that should not be, oh, God, we ask you to remove it right now. Remove it far away from us as the east is from the west. Place it in the sea of forgiveness, never to rise up against us no more. Remove hatred. Remove bitterness. Remove strife. Remove division. Remove no love. Remove no faith. Remove no hope. And give us faith, hope, love. In charity, Father God, we know that all these things come from you. And we stand in the need of them, Lord. We need them one by one. 
And God, we know that you're, you love us. You care for us. You'll never leave us, nor will you ever forsake us. And you'll give us what we ask. You said to us, we have not because we ask not. And God, we come asking this morning just to be filled with your Holy Spirit. Let your Spirit come and fill us up this morning, Father God. Let it, let it come and take over, God, anything that is in us that doesn't stand up to you, God. We know we come short of your glory. We know we all come short of your glory. We ask you right now, Father, to just forgive us. Wash us in the blood of the Lamb. Dip us down in that blood, Father. Let that blood wash us and make us white as snow. Because like Paul said, no matter, no matter how good I try to be, Father, every time I seem to try to do right, I always end up doing wrong. But there is a blood that was shed on an old rugged cross on a hill called Calvary for the remission of all sin, past, present, and future. Dip us in that blood, God. Bring us out white as snow. That when we stand before you, God, as an individual, when we stand before you as a family, when we stand before you as a church, when we stand before you as a people, God, you will see us dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ, washed and made whiter than the snow. And all that he has done would be the reward, God, that would give us safe passage home to thee. Lord, we just say thank you right now. We ask your blessings in our home. We ask your blessings on our job. We ask your blessings in our family. We ask you to bless our children. Bless our family members. All those who don't know you and are still sinning in the free pardon of their sins. Bless them, God. Touch them, Lord. Allow your Holy Spirit to move in their lives, God, that they too might want to come. Cry out, I yield, I yield. I can't hold out no longer. I want to know the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God that is above all other gods, the God that is going to have dominion and power forever and ever over all the little gods of this, of this time, of this day, of this world. Lord, we say thank you. Iconium say thank you. We thank you, God for how good you've been to us. Down through the years, we thank you for you brought us a mighty long way. Thank you, God. When I look back from whence thou hast brought us, my soul just cries out, holy, holy, holy unto you, God. When I look back over my life, and see all the goodness that you have done in the world and in this day. My soul just cries out, holy, holy, holy unto you, God. And I thank you right now. Praise your name for our sick and shut in today. Mother Elise Daniels. We want to thank you for Willie Mae Harvey who's here today. Sister Eunice Sappho who's here today. We want to thank you, Father, for Brother Malon Jackson, Brother Julius Kahn's, and Brother Dominique Edmonds. We want to thank you, God, that Sister Lily Lane is here. Thank you for Brother Gary Vincent and Sister Barry Colbert, Brother Lorenzo, Lorenzo Lindsay, Miss Evelyn Lindsay, Miss Mary Russo. Thank you, God, for, for Anthony James Akins, Miss Edith Lindsay, Father. We just say thank you. 
We bless your name today to all those who are sick and shut in that may not be on this list. We thank you for those who are sick and shut in in our own homes, our family members, in hospitals, in nursing homes, even in jail houses. Oh God, thank you. Touch right now. Wave your healing hand all across them, God. And let them be healed in the name of Jesus. God, we pray in the name of Jesus today that you would be with all those who are across this land and country we live. They're dealing with floods, fires. They're dealing with loss of property. They're dealing with life problems. They're dealing with sicknesses in their bodies. Whatever they're dealing with, God, we pray that you would just touch them right now. Bless them right now. For they don't have food on their table, give them food. Don't have shelter. God, bless them with shelter don't have real mints for their body. God, just make a way, some kind of way, Lord. We just pray today, God, not so much for ourselves, but for others who we know stand in the need of thee. God, you've been so good to us. You've been so good to us. You've been so good to us. And for that, God, we just cry out to you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we had 10,000 tongues, God, we couldn't thank you enough. But with the one that we do have, we just want you to know from our hearts how much we love you, how much we praise you, and how much we thank you. And God, when we have to go in the room and come out no more, we have to give up the busy walks of life. We've done all that we can do. Said all we could say, prayed all we could pray, preached all we could preach, worked all we could work. Oh God, we just ask you a resting place. Somewhere, Lord, in your kingdom. Not particular where about, just somewhere where we can continue to worship and praise your name. Sit around the table and tell you how we made it over. We made it over by our faith. And your son, our Savior. And we just say thank you right now. In Christ Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. I'm having been to heaven. But I'm surely on my way The angels keep watching over me, my Lord See, I'm walking, I'm walking with Jesus Every night and every day Oh, the angels be watching over me, my Lord, all night, all, all night, and all day, and all day. Yes, the angels be watching. All night all and all day and all all day I know the angel he watching over me my Lord let the church say amen say amen again Amen. Amen. Glad that we have angels watching over us. Amen. All night and all day, the angels keep a watch over me. Amen. 
Oh, praise God. Praise God. Amen. We're now going to turn it over to Brother Mark, our minister of music this morning. Amen. And let him bless us as he always does and always has. We're grateful. God is good and all the time. Hold on, the change is coming. It's a simple song. Yeah. Come on, put your hands together. We came to praise the Lord. Yesterday, a man stepped to me. He said, how could you smile when your world is tumbling down? And I said, it's been my secret. Mm, when I want to cry, I take a look around and I see that I'm getting by. And I hold on. A change is coming. Hold on. Don't you worry. Hold on, you can make it, just hold on, everything, can I say that again, mm, yesterday, mm, a man stepped to me, he said, how could you smile when your world is tumbling down, and I said, it's been my secret, mm, when I want to cry, I take a look around and I see that I'm getting by and I hold on. A change is coming. You hold on. But don't you worry. You hold on. You can make it. Just hold on. Everything. Some people like to worry. Some people like to hide. Some people like to run away. From the pain inside, now that's your business. Mm, do whatever you want to do, but if it don't work out, here's what you ought to do. Uh, just hold on. A change is coming. Just hold on. Don't you worry. Hold on. You can make it. Just hold on. Everything when the troubles of life weigh you down, just lift your head up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the love you seek is hard to find, don't give up, just be strong, keep the faith, and hold on. The change is coming, just hold on. Don't you worry, worry about a thing. Hold on. And you can make it. Just hold on. Everything. La da. La da. La da. La da. La da. La da. A change is coming. Just hold on. Don't you worry, don't worry about a thing. Hold on. And you can make it. Just hold on. 
everything, everything will be all right. La da, la da, la da, la da, la da, la da. Coming, just hold on. Don't you worry, don't worry about a thing. Hold on, and you can make it. Hold on, everything, everything will be all Hallelujah, giving God all the praise. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Every day, every day, every second, every minute, every hour, it ain't been easy. But I tell you, I never would have made it without it. Never would have made it. Never would have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see how you were there for me and I can say never would have made it, never could have made it without you, I would have lost it all, but now I see how you were there for me and I can say I'm stronger I'm wiser I'm better so much better when I look back over what you brought me through I realize I made it cause I had you to hold on to and I never Oh, I never could have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost my mind a long time ago if it had not been for you. I, I am stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. storm in my test because you were there to carry me through my mess and I'm stronger I'm wiser I'm better so much better I would have lost my mind a long time ago if it had not been for you I said I'm stronger and I'm wiser I'm better so much better I made it I made it I made it I made it never would have made it never could have made it Somebody need to testify somebody next to him and say, I'm stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. 
so much better. When I look back over what he brought me through, I realize I made it because I had you to hold on to. Now I'm stronger. Now I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. I made it. Is there anybody in this house other than me that can declare you made it? Tell your neighbor, never would have made it. Tell her, never could have made it. Without you. Let me say, never could have made it, never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. Hallelujah. In the way the Lord decided to bless me, I'm satisfied. Fill my cup, let it overflow. Say anyway, I'll be. Say anyway. Say I'll be. I'll be. Whoa, anyway. Said I'll be. Feed me, feed me, Jesus. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Say anyway. Said I'll be. We'll take one more time from the top. Say anyway. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. Said I'll be. Whoa, anyway. Said I'll be. Feed, feed me, Jesus. Said again, feed, feed me, Jesus. Said again, feed. Said again, feed. Come on. Just fill my cup, let it overflow. Say anyway, said I'll be. Oh, say anyway, you bless me. 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 Say I'll be satisfied. Said I'll be satisfied. Said I'll be satisfied. Said I'll be satisfied. Said I'll be satisfied. Say you. Say you. Listen, church. Anyway, the Lord decides to bless me, I'm satisfied. If my blessing don't come FedEx, I'm satisfied. If my blessing comes in a brown paper bag with green stains in it, as long as my name is on it, I'm satisfied. But we can't encourage you and say, So do your blessing. I said, Your blessing me. I said, Your blessing me. Oh, your blessing me. It's all the way. It's all the way. It's all the way. Oh, it's all the way. It's all the way. 
It's on the way. It's on the way. Oh, it's on the way. Say thank you, Jesus. 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 It's on the way. Say I can see it. 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 Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? It's on the way. 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 Say, can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Say, I can see it. Well, I can see it. Well, I can see it. I can see it. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Oh, it's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Oh, it's on the way. Say it away. Say it away. Say it away. Listen, church. I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The way. Say thank you, Jesus. It's on the way. Say thank you, Jesus. It's on the way. Say thank you, Jesus. It's on the way. Say I can see it. 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 Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Whoa, it's on the way. Say it away. Say it away. Say it away. Somebody say I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Come on, give God some hand clap of praise. Thank the Lord. Can't you feel him? Can't you feel him in this place? Don't you know when you're in the presence of a holy God? Don't you know when you're in the presence of an almighty God? Don't you know that you will accept his blessings anyway? Any way he give them to you, you'll accept his blessings. Amen. Just tell him thank you right now. Just tell him thank you right now. Just tell the Lord thank you. I don't know what you've been through, but God knows. Just tell him thank you. I don't know where he brought you from, but God knows. Just say thank you. I don't know what you've gone through last week, but God knows. He brought you out to the house of prayer one more time. Just say thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he's been good to somebody. He's been good to somebody. He's been so good.
I just want to thank the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, give him some praise if he's here. Give him some praise if he's done anything for you. If you can look back through your sanctified mind you can see anything that the Lord has done for you down through the years, even up into this present moment in time. We We don't want to escape no past to identify the future, amen, that God has for us in this place, amen, in your home, on your job, in your body, giving you health and strength and sound mind, amen. Mm. Oh, uh, mm. I felt the power of God, that's all. And uh, the summon said, some writer said, never would have made it. Never would have made it. Never would have made it without the Lord. Wouldn't have made it through some heartaches and some pains, some sicknesses. Never would have made it. Through all the ups and the downs. Never would have made it. But because of the Lord, we are stronger. We're wiser. We're even better. Amen. We're stronger because we've had him to hold on to. No matter what your storm was like. Amen. I greet you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A name that is above every name. And one day at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Of lords and king of kings. There is a word from the Lord today, but let us bow our heads in prayer. Sweet, sweet Jesus. How precious is your name. In all this earth, we come to give thanks and glory to you. Praise your name just for being who you are. Wonderful counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God, Savior of the world. Thank you for this opportunity. Pray, Father, for you to have your way through me, with me, by me. Pray that you would speak now to your people. Set me down, move me out the way, and you come forth. May your glory continue to reign. May your spirit continue to be present. May your holiness and your glory be given unto you in all that I do and say. May you get the glory. This is my prayer in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 There is a word from the Lord, church like to get you to look with me at the book of Matthews, amen? Matthews, the 11th chapter, verses 28 through 30, amen? Matthews 11, 28 through 30. I'd like to use for a subject this morning. A call from the master. 
did you get the call? Amen. A call from the master, did you get the call? And it reads, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and lean of, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, my burdens are light. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Did you get the call? Amen. Hmm. Jesus here is speaking in this 11th chapter to us. Amen. He's speaking about a word that is called weary that describes one life. Amen. Do you ever feel like you have reached the end of your rope? And there simply ain't enough rope left that with which you would tie not. You understand these are the kind of people Jesus was addressing in these verses, amen. And they were weary people. Felt like they had gotten almost to the end of their rope, amen. Oh, it starts out and began with John the Baptist doubting whether Jesus was the Messiah, amen. The hypocrisy of religious leaders, 7 through 19, and the wickedness of cities where Jesus had been preaching. Amen. Verse 20 and 24. But he had been surrounded by those who were weary either with their vain efforts at religion or their equally vain struggle against sin. These are people who need to know that there is some rest in Jesus, amen? A place to which they can run where they could find rest from their labor. And not only rest from their labor, but rest for their souls, amen? And I came this morning just to tell you that there is still a place where you can find that rest. All of us needs that place where we can find that rest in God. And that's why the summit said, I, I never would have made it if it had not been for the Lord. Amen. In these three little verses, there's a wealth of knowledge. There's a wealth of scripture. There's a wealth of food for all of us. And if you are one of those who is weary and heavy laden, allow me to give you some hope this morning from the blessed word of God. Amen. Amen. Allow me to point you to this rest uh, uh, that, that Jesus is inviting those to come. Amen. First, he leads us off in the 21st, 28th verse here and says, come unto me. Amen. He, he, he gives us a call, and I wonder did we all get the call, amen, to come unto him. There's a call for us to come unto him first for what? Salvation. Oh, we need it. We need our souls saved, amen? This is, in this invitation, we can see that the call there is an invitation for men to come to Jesus. In him alone, we can find salvation for our soul. You see, there's no other place to find true saving grace than in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
no other place. You can search all over. You can go from town to town, city to city, state to state, church to church. You will never find the salvation that you're looking for unless you're in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Acts 4 and 12 tells us by no other name under the heavens whereby we must be saved than in the name of Jesus. Amen. John 14 and 6, Jesus tells us that I am the way. He tells us that I'm the truth and I'm the life. Amen. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Amen. Men seek to find salvation in everything other than Christ Jesus. We're looking for it in our work. We're looking for it in our goodness, in our self-righteousness. By every effort, man, that, that, that rejects faith in Christ Jesus, even in religion sometimes. We're looking for salvation. Amen. But faith in Jesus Christ alone for some other method is absolutely doomed. It's doomed for failure. If you're looking for salvation and faith in anything else other than Jesus Christ, then you miss the mark. For by grace are ye saved, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Jesus is telling us that we can't boast. There's nothing that we can do to make us good enough to be able to receive God's salvation for us. Big people can't vote, can't boast over little people. Little people can't boast over big people. Pretty people can't boast over What I'm trying to say this morning, church, is, is that no one can boast except for in Christ Jesus for our soul salvation. Amen. We're all coming together to be one to try to heal the call. Some of you have been on the battlefield a long time. You heard the call in the early portion of life. Some of you come on the call in, in, the, in the mid days of your life. You're in the middle of life. And then some of you come on the call and you, you answer God's call in the, mid, in the evening of your life. But let me tell you, there's no difference in your reward because you receive soul salvation just as well as you come in the end of your life than if you come in the early days of your life. If you come in the mid days of your life, amen, all that does is give you more time to call on God and for his grace and his mercy if you come in the early days than in the late days, amen. Now in the late days, you don't get a chance to get all the rewards that you can build up through believing and trusting in the body of Christ, through faith in Jesus Christ, but you still have salvation. We got to have it, church. We got to understand it. Because if we don't understand it, guess what we do? We build up walls around ourselves to let us think that we are something that we're not. Amen? Oh, man, we need to go to Jericho. Amen? And to do what God said. March around the wall, seven, around the city seven times and let the walls fall down. So we can begin to serve God just as God will have us. Amen. Amen. The next thing we see here in this lesson is, is that, that uh, we see the candidates. Now that the call of the Lord is extended to a group of people, the group is very inclusive rather than exclusive. You understand? He, he, he calls, but he doesn't exclude anybody. The calling to the self is all. If you look right there, he said, he say, come unto me, all. He didn't wave out anybody. He didn't put anybody out and, and say that you're not able to accept my call. This is the God we serve. We put people out. We say we're not worthy. You're not worthy. You did this. You did that. But once you hear the call, let me tell you, the call is the 
thing that you must hear to receive it. And then the rest of life is the beginning and the getting to the point of where Jesus Christ is going to be the savior of your life. But it's extended to all, and there's not anyone who hears the invitation from the Son of God can come and cannot find salvation. Amen. Thank God he didn't say, he, thank God he said all. Because if there was any condition placed on it whatsoever, it would probably exclude you and I. It, it would exclude you and I because there would be something that makes us not worthy. To receive the call. Amen. <clears throat> God here is speaking to us. To let us know that not only does our call come. But it comes with work. Church. Amen. Amen. See he doesn't just call us to come and receive salvation. You have to come and you have to work. You have to make yourself available to God. To be used by God. Bless you Anthony. God bless you. For being a blessing to us. God bless you. Amen? Amen? Notice also that he called out to those and he said uh, 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 who, are, who labor and were heavy laden. See this word labor refers to those who are absolutely worn out from efforts. While the word heavy laden calls to mind those who have been pressed down by a great weight. Amen? And sometimes along this Christian experience, you can get heavy laden and you can get burdened down. And I don't have to tell you, all you got to do is look back over your life and see what God has brought you. And all the trials and the tribulations and the tests that you've gone through, sometimes you get heavy laden and burdened down. And you have to be able to find that rest in the Lord. Amen. The reference here is to those who struggle. Could be with those who struggle in sin or those who are laboring under the bondage of religious and vain attempts at self-righteousness. We don't want to be self-righteous. We want to live in righteousness through Christ. Amen. Amen. Self-righteousness does what? It really builds up pride and tells us we don't need Christ. I don't need Christ. I'm good all by myself. Somebody else can't have Christ, but I can have Christ. Because I'm, 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 I'm deserving of Christ and somebody else isn't. You understand? Jesus was describing their condition. And, and that's why he said, in other words, he was calling out those who were trying to be good and do good. Their way into heaven. Or their way to God. Jesus knows just as the sinner himself will find out one day. That every effort to save oneself is, is a, a, a vain effort. The only way we are going to be able to accomplish it in any life is through the pure grace of God. How many, how many of you know what I'm talking about? See, not by works of righteousness. Which we have done. But according to his mercy, he saves us. Don't, we, we, we haven't been so good. None of us, praise God, has been so good that we can tell God why he saved us. I still ask God sometimes today, God, why you saved me? When all these other folks out here don't even know you, never heard of your word, don't even know that there is a God that you can call on who will love you in spite of yourself. Amen. In spite of your mistake, in spite of all your wrongdoing, in spite of the, 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 the path that you had fell upon in life that brought you to the call. Praise God. Amen. Your efforts have failed. But faith in Christ Jesus will save your soul. And then in, we, can see the, we can see the covenant here. Amen? And I'll give you rest. Amen? And Jesus said, I'll give you some rest. Well, when, when, when it gets heavy, when the burdens get so heavy that it seems to weigh you down because you're sick in your body and you don't know what to do. 
your child is wayward and you just seem like you just can't keep telling them over and over and over and they just not listening to what you say. Amen. Your bills are overdue and you don't know where you're going to get your money from to pay them. All these things that are beginning to take over one's mind can begin to be a weight in their lives and they need to come and give it to Jesus so you can find rest. And if you find that rest in the Lord, he'll quiet those things. He'll give you calmness and he'll refresh you. Amen. He promised that to us. He promised that. He said, here it is right here. He said, and I will give you rest. What a blessing that is, church. Somebody ought to be shouting right now. Mm. I, I can't tell you what a blessing that is. Amen. Because... When I seem like I can't go on, when I seem like I can't take it no longer, I, I, I hear from Jesus and say that, that I could come to him and I could find rest in him. You understand, when the burdens are placed on you and you seem like, you know, you're trying to satisfy everybody and you can't satisfy nobody, then you can just give it to the Lord and say, Lord, let your will be done, not mine. Let your will be done, God, in my home. Let your will be done on my job. Let your will be done in my family. Let your will be done to my friends and everything, God. I can't handle it by myself. I need to find a rest in thee, God. We are given a rest in God when we find that peace that God has for us. Amen. Amen. See, see, when you find your peace, don't mean everybody else find theirs at the same time. Amen. Now, now here's the thing. If you don't find yours at the same time I find mine, don't get mad because I found mine. Amen. And you didn't find yours yet. But God ain't through with you yet. Just like he ain't through with me, right? So all we have to do is keep praying and keep on believing and keep on trusting God that one day he going to show us the answer to what's driving us. Do our test. Amen. But so many times we want to have a, a ear at everything else that's going on all around us. We want to have an ear to how everybody else solving theirs. And they ain't went to God to get their rest, but they want to tell you how to get your rest. We are given peace with God. Romans 5 and 1 tells us, therefore being justified by our faith, we have peace with God. We have peace with God. We are given a rest from our attempts to please God. You can't please God. God, please. God told me my heart was evil. And I'm using me as an example because I know he didn't tell y'all y'all heart was evil. But he told me my heart was evil. I had to learn that my heart was evil, church. No matter, I understood now why Paul said that no matter how, or no matter how, how hard I try, I, I, I try to do good, but no matter how much good I try to do, I always seem to end up doing wrong. You understand? Because that's how it is when you're trying to line up next to God and allow your heart to be the heart of God. The best thing you can do is have a heart like God. Amen. Amen. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, body, and soul. These are conditions. These are uh, attitudes. These are ways that we uh, combine ourselves and become like God, like Christ Jesus. Amen. We are given a calmness. Concerning our salvation. All of this should be concerned with our soul's salvation. He said the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. Until we the children of God. That we are the children of God. That's Romans 8.16. The spirit bear witness. You ever come into the house of the Lord. And sometimes the spirit just be, be bearing witness with you. Inviting the Lord into the house of God. You understand? Allowing God to move throughout. We are given that calmness to salvation and we are given refreshment for our journey. This is what we find. 
when the weariness and the things that of, of our lives take over us. Amen? Amen. But God only, not only gives us that rest of salvation, he gives us satisfaction. See, he moves immediately from the picture of, 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 of rest to the picture of work and tells us that uh, the take of his yoke he gives us that satisfaction because if we're going to be Christians, we must work in the body of Christ. You understand? We're going to have to uh, uh, let our works speak for itself. And we're not talking about works uh, giving you the salvation. Amen? But we're talking about work that is faith. You understand? You show me a man that has faith and I'll show you a man that will work for the Lord. Uh, yes, that's, that's the scripture there. You understand? That is the scripture. That's James 2.18 says that, that a man said, thou hast faith. Well, I have works to show that for my faith. But without works, I'll show you that there is no faith. You understand? Because if you've got faith, then you're going to have work too. Not that you're going to work your way into the kingdom of God, but you're going to have faith that you're going to work for the Lord in whatever he called and asked you to do. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. See, when God calls you from out yonder to come in, he calls you from out yonder to come in to work out your soul's salvation. Yeah. And while you working out your soul's salvation, that's when it gets weary sometimes. That's when it gets heavy sometimes. That's when the load gets unbearable sometimes. And that's why he was inviting uh, these individuals to, to come to him and rest. Find this rest. This rest consists of surrender. Yes. It means surrender. Take. That's why he said take and learn of me. You understand? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. We have to take and learn of the Lord. We can't make our way without knowing his way. We can't relegate these verses that he was speaking to the Jews back then. He was speaking to them. You understand? And it was important to them that they would follow their old, Judy, their old Judaism, their old ways. You understand? But it was important to Jesus that, no, they turned from their old ways to follow his way. And what do we do sometimes? We get saved and we come into the house of the Lord, but as soon as the opportunity comes, Satan wants to try to encourage us to go back to our old ways. That's why the Bible says, uh, uh, when they're going through, don't think more of yourself than you do others because the same Satan that tempts one tempts all. He, he, he tempts us. So we shouldn't be looking about what's going on with somebody else. We should be trying to look at what's going on with us. And if we find something going on, we should be caring enough for one another to lift them up and to pick them up. That's what, that's what God's way is. Amen. Then he talks to the person and he says to us that once we surrender to give up completely and to, to give in one to ourselves, church, we must then understand that he was referring to one that would surrender completely to him. Amen? Amen. This, is, this is the time that is taken, that it takes to go from receiving the call to sanctification. Amen? We have to work to get there. We do. We have to, Jesus gave a sign to say how he was. He said, he said, take of me. He said, he said, he said, learn of me. He said, I am what? Meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. Listen, it took me a long time. I'm not meek enough yet. I'm talking about me again, church. Amen. I'm not meek enough yet. You understand? You remember when he talks about, uh, you know, if somebody slap you on one jaw, you know, you turn your head and give them the other. You know, that's, that's God's teaching. But I don't know if I could take it yet where somebody slap me on one side that I turn and give them the other side. How about you, church? Anybody? Anybody? No, no, because you'd be ready to take off your church clothes. I know some of y'all will be ready to pull off your earrings. Keep your shoes off to the side and say, come on. 
Pray for me. Pray for me. Amen. I'm just trying, I'm trying to go here and say that, you know, li listen, there's a lot of things that have gone on and take place in our lives, amen, that sometimes uh, uh, people couldn't have said before we came to Christ, could not have done to us before we came to Christ. When we began to learn to be a Christian and to follow after Christ, and so we allow Christ to stand up in us, and we don't do and, do the, and say the things that we used to do and say. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You talk about it. Never mind. But Jesus wanted them to know that, that, that he was, he was uh, lowly and meek. Amen. And, and then coming to him as a person, we would have to be lowly and meek as well. It's the same work from which we get the word disciple. Amen. When Jesus is asking you and me to do is to surrender to him to become his disciple. And if we're going to become his disciple, we're going to have to be lowly and meek and humble. We, we're going to have to show love to one another. We're going to have to always uh, 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 be looking at ourselves more than we're looking at somebody else. Amen. You see, this price is high. This price to be like the Lord is high. It's not just uh, something that, that is, uh, uh, we, can, we can take for granted. We want to try to be the very best we can. But we, we understand that we're all human. But we are to surrender every day, amen? We're trying to uh, do what God would have us to do. He expects us to get and to have some ways, amen? But he, he gets to us, and he said his yoke, as he stated earlier, is, uh, he, he said, my yoke is easy. Yeah. You know, take on me, my yoke upon you, and learn of me. You understand? For my yoke is easy, and my burdens are light. A yoke, you know what a yoke is, right? Mm -hmm. See, back in that day, uh, Jesus was a carpenter, and I imagine he made a whole lot of yokes. And the yokes were what they used to drive the animals, to keep them in line, to drive uh, and plow the fields. Yeah. And they would drive a line straight, but they would have, in order, in order to keep the, 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 the animal from going all kind of ways, they would put a yoke around his neck that would control him to keep him in order. Yeah. You understand? And that's what he's saying to us here. He's saying his yoke is easy. This plan is easy. Just, just follow me. You understand? And I'm going to keep you straight. You try to keep yourself straight. But I'm going to keep you straight. Amen? And, and, and uh, he's saying live your life under his will. A life that's ease and profession. But his life is easy for us. But our life, we always seem to make mistakes. Amen? And all I'm trying to say here today, church, is, is that we need to accept the call. Amen? We need to hear the call. Jesus makes the call to us. Yeah. He, he makes the call to us. He lets us know that uh, we are going to have some heavy laden and some burdens throughout the calls. But we can come to him, you understand? If we pick up the phone and hear the call, take the call, we could come to him and find what we need for this journey. Amen. See, we need for this journey to be uh, on one accord. Yeah. We need to be a loving body. One for another. Amen. We need to give God praise in everything that we do. And if it's not of God, we don't need to do it. Amen. 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 We, we need to understand that uh, if we're having some times, rough times, let's go to Jesus Christ together and find rest. Amen. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that you can't find rest. You're not going to get heavy laden and burdened down along this journey. Some of, some of our children are going to drive us crazy. Sometimes the jobs will push you to the end. Sometimes people will misunderstand you more than understand you. 
sometimes, you know, this Christian walk is it, just uh, hard to uh, stay on this journey. You understand? Because it's a spiritual warfare. And the enemy is going to try to tell you that you don't need to serve Christ. He's going to try to tell you to get off the battlefield. You understand? He's going to try to tell you to uh, not hang in there to see what the end going to be. Amen? And, and, and we're all together in this thing. We're all together, and if we are together, we are one body in who? Christ Jesus. Amen. And if we're going to be together, we're going to be a church that's going to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to be a church that's going to give him glory. We're going to praise his name, and we're going to thank him for everything that he does for us in these four walls and outside of these four walls. Amen. Oh, he's been good. He's been good. Listen, I had a rough week, but he's been good to me. He allowed me to make it through the week. Amen. He allowed me to come out to the house of prayer one more time. He allowed me to come out and be able to look upon your brow today to see the smiles upon your face. He allowed me to be able to, to give glory to Anthony. Amen. For singing glory to Jesus' name in the prayer. He allowed me to praise you all for the choirs and to give God more glory. Thank you for Reverend Alonjano. You see, all these things, I'm very thankful to God. They may not seem like a lot to you, but they are a lot to me. Amen. Because I don't need nothing else. I, money can't buy me what I'm looking for. Amen. Uh, big houses and land can't buy me what I'm looking for, church. You understand? All I need is for the Lord to be on my side. I can love you. I can love each and every one of you. I can love God's people. As we draw things together here, the end of this message, uh, allow me to ask you this question. Does the Lord yoke seem easy and his burden light in your life? If the answer is yes, then I would venture to say that you are a satisfied person. But if the answer is no, then I would recommend a time in this altar for you to just come before the Lord and for you to stop your kicking and your fighting. Kicking and fighting is what we do when we uh, run in the opposite direction of the Lord. Kicking and fighting is what we do when the road is like this. And instead of trying to stay on the straight and the narrow. Kicking is fighting is when we find fault in others instead of ourselves. We're all God's children. And we can't boast no more one to the other, church. Amen. I just like for folks to give me my flowers now. Don't wait to um, spread out. All the nice things are said, and he was this, and he was that. No. I want some flowers while I'm living. Amen. I ain't so good, though, that I deserve anything. Amen. But there are some of us that we don't never give God a chance to enter into his rest. Amen. See, I'm thankful that there is still... Rest in Jesus. I, I, I found my rest in the Lord a long time ago. I called on the name of Jesus. I asked him to be my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Amen. Amen. And I've been on the battlefield ever since. I remember asking Jesus how I'm going to take care of my family. What's going to happen when I start giving my money? doing the things that I need to do to follow you. Well, it's been 30 years. It's been a lot of years, amen? And I will say that the Lord ain't left me yet. He ain't let me down yet. I've been through some storms of life. I've been in some ovens where the heat was turned up. 
hotter than you can imagine. Amen. But I kept right on remembering that the Lord said unto me what he would do for me if I did for him. Amen. Amen. So if God has said anything unto you on this day, amen, I want you to just stand on your feet right now and give God praise. Amen. And I don't want you to stop standing. I want you to keep standing because we're going to open the doors of the church at this same time. Amen. But I want you to just give God some praise this morning. Amen. No matter if you got cancer in your body. No matter if your kidneys don't work like they should. No matter if you're sick. No matter if your children and your home ain't what you think it ought to be. No matter what it is, I just want you to give God some praise. Take just a few minutes just to say thank you, Lord. Give God some praise today. Sunday, September the 4th. Amen. 2022. Amen. I don't know about you, but I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know what tomorrow holds for you, and I don't know what it holds for me. This might be the last time that I'm able to stand before you and say to you, to God be the glory in all that he has done for all of us. I thank God that we got the call, amen? You got the call because you're here today, amen? You got the call because you came out to worship the Lord on this Sunday and hear the word of God, amen? We thank God today. We want to thank God today for being so good to us. There might be somebody here today who have not made their peace with God. Amen. You might be here and you uh, have not yet come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. You might have not yet humbled yourself unto him and asked him to be the Lord of your life and Savior of your life. If you're here, the doors of the church are open. Amen. If you're here today, the doors to the church are open. You get the opportunity to come down now to the front of the church and give your heart to God and your hand to the preacher and make it known to all the world that Jesus Christ is the head of your life. You want to repent and ask for forgiveness and come to know him as savior of your life. You want to ask him to be all that he has promised to be. Hallelujah. Is there one here today? He can move mountains. Oh, yes. Is there one here today? To discourage me. You may be here today and you say, Well, he can I already know the Lord. I knew him from a child, but I strayed away. Amen. So and I want to come I and I want to just give my life back to God right he now. Can stop time I might just want to to love rededicate my life back to God. Oh, to rededicate my life back to his son Jesus Christ. God you can come now. Amen. You see the doors to the church are open. And when we open the doors to the church, you can come by Christian experience. The Holy Spirit will speak and move in your heart and he'll tell you, come on. Don't worry about what nobody thinks. Don't worry about what they're looking at. Don't worry. Just come on down and, and give your God, your heart to me and your hand to the preacher. He can say you can come by letter. You can be coming from another church. You can come by letter. You can come by that Christian experience. You can even come and say, I've never been baptized. I want to come and give my life to God and I want to be baptized. Doors to the church are open. Can I get a witness here tonight? Oh, cause we know. See, you see, Jesus knew what he was doing. He can move mountains. He knew who he was talking to. 
that tried he knew that his father had sent him me. for a particular mission he can calm the storm he knew that he was sent down 40 and two generations down through the roots so of David I down see. to a sin filled world to be handled he by man stop he knew that he came down doing nothing but good giving sight to the blind and feeding the, me. the hungry Whoa. raising the dead he knew Whoa. that he had to go all the way out on an old rugged cross on a hill called Calvary he had to die there. Can I get a witness here today? He had to oh, shed his blood there. No he had to die a fleshly death there. No and he had to be raised up in the newness of life. He can with all power in his hand. He had to take and conquer our sin on that old rugged cross. He had to do it because he there was no one else worthy. He had to do it because no one else could do it. He had to do it because we couldn't do it for ourselves. He had to do it that you might have a right to the tree of life. He had to do it so you could give God glory in your life. He had to do it so you could spend eternity with him and God can You can't work your way. Can I get a witness here tonight? Oh, your way. You can't do nothing. God can. But give it over to Jesus. You can't do nothing but accept the precious blood that was shed for the remission of your sins. You can't do nothing but allow God causing him to die there. Putting him in a grave and staying there. Three day early Sunday morning raising him up with all power in his hands. All power in heaven and all power in earth belongs to him. And he deserves the glory. Pick you up. He's the only one that deserves well, to be. He's the only one good enough. No matter what you're going through, always know that. Because when no one can, God can. That's why we thank God today. That's why we praise God today. That's why we bless him in the name of Jesus today. So that we can find rest. Amen. Somebody may have Amen. come here today with a problem. Amen, church. Amen. Amen. But I want you to know whatever you're going through, we got rest. Always remember that God can. We got rest, church. A songwriter wrote a song, said he's an all-time God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he may not come when you want him. But how many know that he'll be there right on time? He'll come, oh, he'll come right on time. Mm. God Listen. If you need peace in your life, remember. God Somebody needs joy in their life. God I want to ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Is there anybody here tonight that having a God can experience? You ought to wave your hands. Come on, come on and wave your hands. Somebody wave your hands. Don't be ashamed to do it. What can we do for you? Is there anybody here tonight having a God can experience? You ought to wave your hands. You ought to pat your feet. You ought to reach for joy to the Lord what you need. Is there anybody here? Tonight, having a God can experience you as a wave your hand if you're glad to be saved now. Wave your hand if you're glad to be here today, so wave your hand. 
Come on and wave your hand. Don't be ashamed to do it. Come on and wave your hand. Come on and wave your hand. Come on and wave your When no one can, God can. Hallelujah. Give us some praise. Together. Give God some praise. Amen. Give God some praise. Amen. Come on. Give God some praise now. Amen. Amen. Oh, when you're in the holy presence of God. Amen. There's something when the saints are in the presence of God. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. It's been a glorious and a wonderful time today in the Lord. Amen. We want to thank the brother for coming down and bestowing his blessings. Amen. We thank you for coming out and worshiping with us today. Amen. We thank all of you this morning for our service today. Amen. We're going to now continue this morning in our communion service, amen? amen? And we're going to give the right hand of fellowship to you today, Miss Kimberly Stafford Dale, amen? God bless you, so when we prepare, we're gonna ask that you would come down and sit at the front, amen? I'll call you and I'll let you know, amen? And uh, <clears throat> to any of you who are here today that cannot stay, we would ask that you would leave quietly and reverently at this time. Amen? Amen? And if we're all going to participate, let us stand in reading our covenants. And he reads, having been led as we believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, we do now in the presence of God, angels and disassembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort, to promote his prosperity and spirituality, to sustain in worship, ordinance, discipline, doctrine, and contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also, to maintain family and secret devotion, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindreds and acquaintances, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealing, faithful in our engagement, and exemplary in our deportment, to avoid all talent, backbiting, and excessive anger, to abstain from sale and use of intoxicated drinks as a bet, and to be zealous in our effort to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy and feeling, courtesy and speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation, and mindful of the rules of our Savior, to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. And now unto him who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, be power and glory forever. Amen. If it is your desire to keep this covenant, please raise your right hand and say amen. 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 Thank you. 
to extend the right hand to fellowship at this time. Amen. Give the right hand to fellowship to Sister Kimberly, Deacon. Go ahead and give the right hand to fellowship at this time. We already have. It's your turn.
that uh, Reverend Lungino Jr. would lead us in a word of prayer this morning. church say amen. Amen. amen 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 Savior was betrayed while having dinner in the upper room with his disciples. Jesus took the bread. He blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take ye, eat. This is my body. He took the cup blessed it. Gave it to his disciples and said, take, drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which was shed for the remission of sins for many. For I will not drink of the fruit of this vine again until I shall drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom.
down. He never said, he never said a mama in word. He never said a mama in word. He never said a mama in word. His head and die. He hung his head and die. He hung his head and die. He hung his head and die. Oh, he. One day I fall. Oh, he died from the cross. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Let us eat and drink together. I really 
hymn, they went out on the mount, we sung a hymn, and now unto him. And before we close out our service today, let me allow the chairman of our deacon board to make an appeal. Amen? Amen. Iconian, I want you to know that the Lord loves us, and I love you all too. That's your chairman and deacon of this church family. We will be doing a great thing this coming Saturday. I'd like to appeal to everybody that in any way possible, every way possible, come to Iconian Church this coming Saturday to really be to vote for our new pastor. We have a very little short window here. The window that we had to vote gonna be only two hours. It's gonna start at 11 o'clock and it will be over at one o'clock. I know that in the bulletin you've seen how you can vote if you can ask them by email and all of that, which is great. But nothing no better that you come and let you be present because God requires us to fellowship with one another. So this is what we be, will be taking place Saturday will be determination about our church family for years to come. So if it's any way possible that you're not working, if you need a ride for somebody, contact them to bring you to the poll here at the church so you can vote for our next pastor. I know it's in the bulletin. I know our uh, secretary had read the bulletin. But I mainly want people who are not over here, that they were here for the voice of me. I'm, I am pleading to you, make effort to come and vote for our next pastor. Thank you very much. Church, if all minds and hearts are clear, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his everlasting throne, to the only wise God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, be power, dominion, and glory, henceforth, now, and forevermore. Let every heart say, Amen. Oh.